Hey guys, we are back with another interview problem that is multiply with the power of 2 without using power function or multiplication operator. Okay, so we have given a number n and k and we have to calculate n into k power 2 and the condition is we cannot use any built-in function or multiplication operator. Okay, so let's take an example n is equal to 3 and k is equal to 4. So 3 into 4 power 2. So 3 into 4 power 2 is 16. So this will be 48, right? So this would be the output. So let's solve this problem. Here we have to calculate n into k power 2. So we are going to use left shift operator. Okay, so what is left shift operator? So let's take an example. So for number one, the binary representation is 0, 1. For number two, the binary representation is 1, 0, 4, 1, 0, 0, 8, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, and 2 power 3. So we can see that we are shifting this bit to the left. Okay. So 2 power 1, the bit is here, 2 power 2, the bit is shifted to the left by one place. So 2 power 3, again we shift it to the left by one place. So 16, which is 2 power 4, would be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Again shifted by one place. So now let's see 4 power 2. Okay, so 4 is 1, 0, 0, and 4 power 2 is 16, so that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so here we can see that this bit is shifted to the left by two places. Okay, now we know what is left shift operator and now we are going to use it to compute this function. So if we take the binary representation of this number n and do the left shift by k places, that would be the output of this function. Okay, so let's take an example. So 3 into 4 power 2. Okay, so n is 3 and k is 4. So first we'll write the binary representation of number 3 that is 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now we'll do the left shift by 4 places. So 4 places that will become 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So this would be the output. Let's see that. So this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. So 32 and 16. So 32 plus 16 is 48. So that's the output of this function, 48, which is same as 3 into 4 power 2 is 16, that is 48, okay? So let's go back to the problem. Uh, approach, left shift the number n by k, okay? So this is the same example, n is equal to 3, bit representation is 0, 1, 1 left shift by 4, which is this, the representation of 48. So let's look at the code. Uh, this is a multiply function, takes n and k as an input and do n left shift by k. So this is how we'll solve this problem. Now we can mark this problem as completed. We'll see you guys in the next video with a new problem. Bye-bye.